G'day everyone, it's Sam McKay from Enterprise DNA. Okay, so today we're gonna to look at an analytical, analytical insight where we're gonna say, we're gonna see, okay, well, if our revenue grew, did our margins also grow, right? So we wanna, and this is this is important because we wanna see, well, is, is revenue expansion or uh, is us getting market share mm -hmm. actually, actually proving um, you know, from a profitability perspective, good is are our, are our margins actually improving, or is the revenue growth just saturating the market and everyone's margins, including our own, are actually contracting? So that, that's the sort of insight that we're trying to achieve today, and, and a really, really interesting one. So I'm going to walk you through the steps I uh, took to actually create the visualization that we're looking at now. So it's 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 actually it's it's not as difficult as you may think. It's really just a uh, just walking through a number of steps one after the other to actually achieve the insight that we want here. Now, what we've got to do is we've obviously got to think about okay, we've got revenue and we've got margins. So we've got to we've got to find those core calculations. So well, that's what we've got to start with. We've got to go and and discover or create formula that finds those insights. So revenue is not too difficult, right? Because it's just going to be like sales. All we've got to do if we've got a you know if we if we are an organisation selling something is that we we've got to go and count up our sales or go and count up the the um, amount of revenue we make per transaction, right? And so I have done that um, with. Uh, this formula here because uh, that's the one I, I needed to write to actually get that insight. Yours might might be slightly different. It might be easier. You might even have a revenue column, but in this case, I've had to go to the sales table and I've had to go well, well for every single row in the sales table, go and count up the multiply the quantity times the price, and then uh, through the sum x, I'll go and sum up all of those sales. Right. So that's how I get total sales. But then we want to look at revenue growth right we don't want to just look at sales because we want to say okay well if our revenues are increasing you know our uh, per per store in this case we're looking at it from a store basis you know are our, our, our margins overall uh, increasing as well so we need to go and find what gr what growth is and so the way we, we we branch out into growth is we've obviously got to find the time period before so that we can then work out okay well were we above or below from a percentage perspective that that last um, time period result in this case, we're going to look at last year, and so this is where the time intelligence functions come in. Dated, perfect, um, perfect function to utilize uh, from a time comparison perspective. And so all I'm doing is I'm jumping back one year, right? And so with that, with that, I can very easily then go year on year growth. And so let's if we check out this one, um, I'm going total sales minus my sales last year divided by my sales last year. So that's going to give us the percentage year on year growth, right? And that's what I've put into this axis here. And um, you know we can see quite quickly. Okay, well, well, from a revenue growth perspective, who who who's doing well and who's not doing well. So some of these some of these um, stores are doing very very poorly, uh, versus some who are doing really really well. So for instance, Charlotte. Uh, is doing you know ext extremely well. The revenue growth is up 134 percent if we look at the tooltip. Okay, so then, but then we've got to do margins. We've got to find out what our margins are right at exactly the same time. And so we've got again. It starts from your core calcs and you branch out into these into these more advanced calcs. Um, and I always recommend doing that wherever possible. Well, first of all, we've got to work out what our total profits is, right? And so we've got total sales. I've also worked out total costs, so that gives me my total profits. Easy as that, not too difficult. Uh, and then from there, we can work out profit growth if you think about it, because I can say, okay, well, uh, no, sorry, not profit growth, mar uh, we, uh, margins. We need to work out our profit margins first. So that, that if you think about profit margins, that's just total profits divided by total sales. That's gonna give you your profit margin. So easy as that, we've got that. And now we need to work out our margin growth though. Okay, so this is not the end of it. We've got to then do exactly the same process as we went through for our sales growth with our margin growth. We've got the core calc, we've got our core calc profit margins. Then I just need to go and find out my profit margins last year in this instance. And so I put inside calculate and I've used the date add function again. So I'm jumping back one year. And then I can go and look at what my margin growth is by doing exactly the same form as I did just before. I can say, well, profit margins minus profit margins last year divided by profit margins last year is going to give me the margin growth, the percentage margin growth, right? And so we could even put a percent in there to make it look a bit more obvious. We could do the same here. 
Okay, and so now, now we've got margin growth percent and we've got year on year growth percentage. So putting these two things together, this is going to get us that insight, right? Because we wanna see, did margins expand as revenue grew, okay? And so we've got both of those calculations now and all we've gotta do is place them inside this a scatter plot and so I've got um, this name here. It's probably not actually named very well. It's got to be that's just store names. So this is this is every single store that we have, right? And um, every single store is within a particular state. So for instance, if I clicked on say Florida here, that's going to give me all my Florida stores. And then so uh, so I'm in the scatter chart here. I've I've got my margin growth percent and I've got my year on year growth percent, and I've filtered it by or I'm slicing it by every single store, right? And so, uh, so that gives us the insight, that gives us exactly what we want. But to finish it off, I've actually put inside my scatter chart these two lines here because, um, and this is where the analytics function really comes into play. So this analytics function is really, really quality for um, the scatter charts. You can do a lot inside of here. And so all I've done is I've put a constant line just to make it really obvious where the zero percent is. And um, you can see here that I put a, uh, an x constant, an x axis, and a y axis constant line, and then you can see it breaks it out into these grids. So you, see, you, you, you've, you've probably tried to do this in say Excel or something like that, but it's so so easy inside of Power BI. And so we can see in this quadrant here, right? We can see these are the customers that uh, we need to understand, or we need to understand why, what has gone on, because this is where that 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 you know we, we're able. This is the real value from the inside, right? We're saying, okay, so we grew from a revenue perspective with these with these stores, but our margins decreased. Why is that? Why is that? That's very very odd, right? It could be to do with many things, but at least it showcases why you know that it is actually happening. And so what I've also done is I've put a lot of detail into the tooltips, right? And so we can say, okay, well let's have let's have a quick look at this tooltip. So sales last year were 108,000, and sales this year were 143,000. So we had a good increase or a good uptick in sales, uh, and we also had an uptick in profitability. So you can see that. But if you check this out, you'll see that um, from a profit margins perspective, I probably need to change that um, uh, change that to a percent. Uh, which one is that? So profit margins LY. You'll see that profit margins slightly contracted. So profit margins were 34% last year, and they've gone down to 32%. So I can just um, change this here. And another one, so we've got, so let's have a look at this. So so Lakeland, which is in Florida. So um, and this, the tooltips are just amazing here. So, so I'm looking at, okay, so we've got good growth in sales from last year. We've got good profitability growth, but for some reason our margin, they've contracted 4%. Was that to do with competition? Was that to do with um, you know our salespeople just trying to get stuff out the door? Were we trying to just get rid of lots of inventory? Just all this like really great insight, right? And you're able to just you know see it automatically. You're able to to automatically go and um, you know go and see this stuff and you could and so you know and also think about how you could extend this so I'm just looking at this from a year on year perspective right but say maybe you wanted to do it on a month point but month on month or a week on week or something like that so heaps of different ways you can utilize this insight okay so I'm going to round things off there um, yeah I'm just I just love showcasing the analytical power that you have inside of Power BI is, I mean it's pretty amazing right pretty amazing what you can achieve and how quickly you can achieve it Lots of concepts we went over in this video. Um, you know, the, I guess I guess one of my big ones is just measure branching. So just making sure you start simple and then you build your way up because you can then reuse these core measures in multiple different ways, right? And so that's exactly how I build all of all of my models and try and work in all of my insights. Okay, so I'm going to round things off. You can download this resource. Um, just check out uh, Enterprise DNA TV online, and um, it just requires a small purchase. Uh, if you like the content, throw us a like on the video, really appreciate it. Uh, and, and also just don't forget to subscribe, certainly subscribe if you want to see um, really, really, really good content on Power BI, um, putting out a lot of stuff and want to get it into, um, you know, your, um, you, you know, want you to view it as soon as it's out. So, so certainly subscribe. Okay, until next time, talk to you soon.